What is up, Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install menu into your guys' 5M. This is really, really simple. Obviously, the mod is meant for single player, but it does also work with 5M, and it's really, really easy to do. But all the tutorials I've seen actually don't show you very well how to do it, so I thought I'd hop in here and show you guys. First thing you guys want to do is hit the link down in the description below. I'll bring you guys right here to the GitHub. Make sure you guys are installing it off the GitHub and not off GTA5mods.com on gta5mods.com it is no longer updated but on github it is as you guys can see here it's last updated like six hours ago and three out three months ago so it's not really that long ago altogether compared to gta5mods.com which is probably last updated like two years ago one year ago so once you guys have come to this page go to menu pc and download the latest release and once that is done installing what you guys are going to do is you should be able to see you'll have a, a menu ASI and then a menu stuff. What people get lost on how to do is installing this menu stuff folder because the ASI is pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, again, I'll show you guys how to do it now. So what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to open up your 5M main directory. So to do that, search 5M, right click, and then open file location. It's going to bring you to your shortcut, usually in your programs folder. Right click on that and do the same thing and now it will bring you to your local 5m files so inside of your 5m application data it doesn't actually look like a folder but it is double click on that go inside of data and then go inside of cache go into sub processes and this is where we're going to install our menu stuff folder so to do this it's pretty self-explanatory you guys can already see i have it here but for the sake of the video i'll get rid of it quickly what you guys are going to want to do is literally drag and drop this folder into your sub -process processes folder and from here go back to data go back to your 5m application data go inside of your plugins folder and here is where we're going to place our menu.asi as you guys can see again i already have it in here literally just drag and drop it in and it won't ask you to replace it because you don't already have it and just like that you've successfully installed menu into your guys's 5m server the key bindings work the exact same as your GTA 5 key bindings, so they work pretty much on par with GTA 5 story mode. If you guys did want to change the key bindings, it's pretty simple. All you guys are going to want to do is go back inside of your menu stuff folder and go into your menu config, and that is where you can change your key bindings. As you can see here, they're all right here. And you can also change different types of spawning settings and stuff like that. It works the exact same way as a config setting on story mode, and it is pretty self-explanatory from here. So I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please just sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what video you guys want to see next. I do apologize for my voice, and if I keep pausing and messing up words, I've got a really, really bad throat right now, which is why I'm kind of delayed on my videos. I'm about a week out of uploading a video, so I do apologize. But videos will be coming out again soon, more constantly. So I do apologize for that, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers, and goodbye.